Good morning. It's Monday, the first day of school. I am so excited. Uh, I can't wait to have kids back in my classroom and in the school in general. I think 97% of families chose to have their kids go in person this year, and it's really nice uh, to have that energy back in the building. Um, I, I know I'm starting a new curriculum this year, uh, but the good thing is that it's still kind of brand new to the social studies uh, department um, in the school and in the district as a whole because we adopted it last year. So um, luckily we weren't there to kind of like figure out all the rough uh, bumps and starts that they had. But um, this year we're going to have fewer, hopefully. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I usually get that uh, summer is ending depression like two weeks before before this. Um, but I don't think I had that at all this summer. I'm just so excited to get back into doing things and have a functioning schedule. Um, it, it's nice to be out early and doing stuff because you feel like you got a lot done. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Let's make this a good school year. Day two of school done and uh, it was less hectic than yesterday for sure. Today we got to do classroom agreements um, and I didn't get to do one part of uh, what we had planned, but it's fine because we have time until Friday, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, yeah, I was actually with my classes for about like 30 minutes, 37 minutes on average today, which felt more like a regular day. So it's nice for the kids to be kind of in that time. They got to learn um, a little bit more about the class and my procedures and expectations and rules and all that stuff. So it is pretty nice. Um, Right now I'm at school, it's about 7 o'clock, uh, 7.20 p.m. The reason why is we had curriculum night, so we were we had to be here contractually from 6 to 7. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's time to go home now. Um, I'm pretty tired. I was going to go to the house to do something, but I think I'm just going to go back home uh, to Jackie uh, and have some dinner with her. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that, get ready for day 3 tomorrow. I haven't been getting much sleep, I've actually been sleeping... Uh, until around midnight, or no, that's not what I'm trying to say. I haven't been sleeping until midnight the last two nights because I've just been so stressed planning everything out. But um, yeah, we'll we'll get to the point where you know we can relax after school and get like our workflow back again. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow then. So I didn't get to update you um, after school yesterday, but I finished my first week in social studies um, and with my new set of kids. And it went pretty well, I think. Um, at this point of the year, the kids are always really, really good, right? And their personalities don't really come out. But I can tell my ninth period, I feel like I have this conversation every year. My ninth period is the one that I, I got to look out for because they're very energetic. Um, and that's always true with uh, everyone else's ninth period. The end of the day, it just does something crazy to those kids. Um, but yeah, I mean, we had a pretty funny... Uh, event where like a kid didn't know his birthday or uh, um, didn't know what a state was um, and the kid was drinking water through his mask and those are just like the this funny little small things that uh that happen in a junior high setting that uh that make you love teaching it so um yeah it's great I like it uh I like having those random events every single day uh it makes my job really really interesting <laughs> um but uh, let's see. Yesterday we moved some stuff into the house. We've actually been moving a lot of things into the house. Um, I gotta start moving these uh, tables right here. They're right there for right now. I'm gonna move this. Probably move Isabel's stuff in the carpet. And uh, actually, we're getting a truck today to move the majority of the things in here. So this is pretty much like the last time that you will see everything over here, even the bedroom over there. So yeah. Um, Hopefully we get a lot done today. We're a bit worried about like the internet and the Wi-Fi and cable. Um, the previous owners of the house had a satellite, so we're not really sure like how the coax works for that. Um, so we'll have to go find it and uh, figure it out. Um, hopefully nothing happens because we really need the internet, um, you know, to work on to work on our stuff, especially for me and for Jackie. Um, yeah. <sighs> well, <laughs> I think this might be our last night. Or maybe last night was our last night here. Yeah, it has to be because we're going to move to bed today. That's crazy. 
We spent uh, pretty much like a year and a half or more at this place. It's been really nice. Really enjoyed, you know, the back over there with the soccer fields and the kids watch, playing and uh, playing and the back the background and the scenery of it. It's nice. Um, and I think Isabel's gonna miss it too, but. We're going to have a new home, she's going to have a yard, and she's going to love it. Look at Jackie just standing there trying to get a U-Haul. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the truck. <laughs> Why'd you back <imagine? laughs> Jackie's U-Haul. <laughs> Hours later, we're done. There's Decky. <laughs> oh, oh, that was pretty bold. Bold move. All right, now what does she do? Ah, she'll figure it out.